Welcome to Munich, Germany, a city foaming with beer history. Today we're going to check out the oldest brewery here in Munich. I think we like Munich. This is something I've been looking forward to since we booked this trip months ago. It's true. But do you like beer? I do not like beer, but today I'm gonna give it my best shot. Today is gonna be a breakthrough beer day for me. Huh? <laughs> a few fun facts about the brewery that we will be visiting today. First of all, I don't know how to pronounce the name Augustine. I get Augustiner Brow, Augustiner Brew. It was founded in 1328 by the Augustinian monks who were actually brewing beer for the Bavarian royal family. Let's head inside. This is not at all what I thought it was gonna be like in here. I expected people high-fiving, jumping on tables, like really long tables with like a bunch of people at them, but there's like families and grandmas and us, so gang's all here. Greg's excited about the beer. I'm excited about the food. Listen to a few things that are on the menu in English. Boiled corrugated meat. Yeah, baby. What about the slaughter bowl with blood and liver sausages? Sauerkraut mashed potatoes. This is also not what I expected. I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't expect long tables. I didn't expect people like dancing on tables necessarily. <laughs> Um, I did expect like a big, a bigger fall. Maybe just I've seen like Oktoberfest pictures. Maybe I'd pictured that type of atmosphere. I forgot possibly the most important thing that we're doing in today's video. Not only drinking beer, trying traditional German food like the slaughter bowl. Corrugated meat. And corrugated meat. That's good. You know. The best beer tastes nothing like beer. Cheers. Food time, I got bratwurst, mashed potatoes, and veggies. I got... I don't really remember what I ordered, honestly, but it's pretty. What I know Hillary is most excited about is this bread in traditional German cheese called... Vatska. I didn't think I knew it. I didn't think you knew Creamy and German. It's got chives on it, so that's a flavor that we're not used to. Shredded purple onions, fresh bread, and a mix of cheeses, kind of like in a spread. I think sometimes this is served with pretzels here in Germany, but this is really good. There's one rule about trying beer in Munich, Germany. Gotta try it at more than one place. This place is a million times better. It's busy, it's lively, it's light and bright. Everyone's sort of sitting together. No one's sitting near us yet. And there's live music. Definitely a much more fun atmosphere here. And while we, you know, had a good time at the first place, I think this is our place. I think Munich is such a fun, vibrant, lively city. Or at least that's what we found in our last few days here. And I think this place is a good representation of that. <laughs> authentic or not here in Germany, but this place just feels like a lot of fun. It could be a complete tourist place, I don't know. German friends comment down below. I'm hearing a lot of German in here. Maybe they're just not from Munich, but I got the, uh, what on the menu was the original beer? Let's give it a shot. It's light, it's refreshing, much different than the Hefeweizen, but I like it. Last beer in 
Germany. Unless I go crazy at the airport, which I might. So it's probably not my last one. But I decided to go with the big one, the leader, Hefeweizen. I'm gonna enjoy every sip of this. Five minutes later. I lied. We got pressured by our friends here to get another one. This is, uh, they described to me this is the red beer. Oldest beer in Germany, I think is what he, did he say that? Yeah. I thought that's what he said. Let's give her a shot. I feel like Hillary's gonna laugh at me because after a few drinks I say everything's really good, but that's really good. This extra beer means Greg is at two and a half liters of beer because our friends suckered him into it. I think we like Munich. That's a lot of talk from somebody drinking Riesling out of a water bottle. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm doing the best I can. Here's the thing. I don't want to finish this beer. Finishing this beer represents finishing our time in Germany. So I think I'm going to take that was a little too big. A very small sips for the next 30 minutes. Just kind of nurse this beer. I don't want this time to be over. Truth be told, after two and a half liters of beer, I really had to use the bathroom, so I finished that beer pretty fast. Pretty fast. I feel sad and distraught, and I don't want to leave. I feel like I'm walking really slowly through town. The interesting thing about this mission of pursuing all of the goals, experiences, and adventures on our bucket list is that the list grows faster than at the rate that we can uh, accomplish or, or have these experiences. And I think that's that was part of by design. Yeah. Like the 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 goal of this was never to finish. Right. As we grow, adapt, and change in life. The, the things we want out of life will, yeah. will change with that. But it's like we came to Munich and instantly it was like, I have to come here with my best friend, Blaine. This is a good time to tell you about some upcoming training we have for some of our bucket list, uh, for one of our particular bucket list adventures. Some of our adventures include running 100 miles. While well, most of these are my crazy ideas, running 100 miles. We want to run from Veracruz to Mexico City. That's a very specific race. I want to complete an Ironman. So a lot of our bucket list adventures are going to require quite a bit of training. Also, one of the bucket list adventures, an official bucket list adventure, is going to Oktoberfest. So I say this, I declare this day one of training for Oktoberfest. Probably won't happen in 2022, 2023. Also, I would like to add something to the bucket list as an official statement. Something that actually Hiller and I talked a lot about. One thing we want to be able to do through these adventures is bring our family, friends, and you all on some of these trips. That would just be incredibly special to us. So, adding to the bucket list is bringing my friend Blaine, you all know Blaine, bringing Blaine to Munich, Germany. If we could combine it with Oktoberfest, that would be nice. We're gonna work on it. And so, this isn't like a go to X amount of countries and then we'll be done type of thing. This is a travel, learn, experience, grow, evolve, evolve change. repeat. <laughs> and and I don't know, you're watching that process happen pretty much I in real time. Good. And hopefully that's, yeah. hopefully that's the interesting and today part. today I'm sad. And what? Today I'm sad. Today I'm sad because I don't want to leave. Hi, uh, can I get one of the spicy sausages? Yes. Um, no thanks. We refused to let the Munich adventures end. Hey, that was mine. Woo! That's hot. Mm. We're not letting you go yet, Munich. <laughs> Not yet. When you think of Germany, you think of beer. 
And when you think of beer, you think of Germany. And that's precisely why we did what we did today. The oldest brewery in Munich turned out to be a bit of a disappointment for us, but then going to HB, I'm not gonna try to say it. We had the absolute time of our lives. We met new friends, we ate delicious food, we drank delicious beer. You guys didn't even get to see the food we tried because they shared it with us. It wasn't even our food. We had one heck of a day. This was our very last adventure here in Germany and we are really, really sad, but we truly tried to live con todo and go out with a bang today and we hope you guys felt that. In the next video, we're talking about why it's over. I think that's all I was gonna say. Is that okay? And cut. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, 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 it's this side. Is that right? Huh?